Here's what happened this week at City Council. Well, City Council today approved the uh, construction contract for the Ridge Beam lighting project. This is a project where we're addressing uh, the traffic uh, lighting for safety purposes in that corridor. This is part of the 2013 Street CIP program um, that was approved by City Council. But how this is going to affect the community, this is a very highly traveled road um, in the east side of town. And so we're looking at this road to, and the lighting to provide that safety measure that um, some of the other roads already uh, have uh, within our city. So the presentation today to the council was the results of the financial and grants audit for fiscal year 18. Uh, we were very pleased to be able to tell the council that there were no findings in either the financial audit or in the grants audit. This is our third year of no findings in our audits and it's a very good position for the city to be in. So today there was no action taken by council. It was a project management update on the police department's body-worn camera project. This is going to be a great benefit to the community as it's going to be an additional a technological function where officers will have body cameras on their person and they'll be able to take uh, video and audio of uh, any scene that they are dispatched to or if they have field contact. Today was a presentation to the City Council to provide them an update on our drone program. It's going to benefit the community in that it'll help the efficiency of the police department. Uh, we can use the drones for such things as crime scene documentation as well as accident reconstruction. Uh, it should save us time and hopefully make us more efficient. Thanks point four is a bi-monthly update that we provide City Council for the Eastside Master Plan. And so what we're providing today is just a general update on timelines. We got some public meetings that will be scheduled in the month of May and June uh, with some of the milestones that our consultant will be uh, bringing forth. During the council meeting today, I provided a report that outlined some key accomplishments that our gold teams had been reporting over the previous several weeks. So it's really an opportunity to take a closer look at some of those key accomplishments as well as looking at what comes next in our strategic planning. The whole purpose of gold team reporting is to really have the opportunity to report out that we're not just saying we're going to accomplish things in our strategic plan, we're actually producing results. So through this reporting process, we share out the progress that we've made, we share um, traction you know, on new initiatives, and so this is really an opportunity to connect it and to share the results out with our community. So there's no action taken. Today's presentation was a budget update to the City Council. This is what we've been doing since October, providing a budget update at every council meeting. And today's presentation focused on our chime-in results and what we've seen so far from the community as far as outlining what their priorities are. We also talked about some potential impact from federal and state items that are currently ongoing. The state legislative session, there's a couple of important bills right now that are being heard that could have a potential negative impact on the city. We also talked about some of the investments that we've made over the last three years really to highlight some of the key areas that we've been investing in with the budget over the last three years. And then finally, we talked about looking at our core wants and needs of the city services that are provided. And really looking at, if we were to, uh, forced to make reductions to the budget, what type of things would we look at? So I'm talking about looking at you know, libraries and parks and you know what we're providing as far as operating hours and number of facilities. So it's good really to get the council engaged and involved as we head into the budget process over the next couple of months. So City Council today, they voted to approve an amendment to the bike plan in order to remove the Wrestler Canyon from uh, the bike plan, uh, remove the designation for Wrestler Canyon from the bike plan. Well, in all reality, this was a cleanup uh, effort in order to remove a piece of property that belongs to the Frontera Land Alliance. Um, and again, just to remove the designation from the bike plan. City Council approved a resolution in support of the Paso de Norte Trail, which is a 60-mile trail from one end of the county to the other. Uh, the county is asked to be a partner in making this trail a reality. It will help the community because they'll have uh, more opportunities for recreation, for transportation, even economic development will occur 
where the trail is located. So it'll be another great opportunity uh, to enhance their quality of life. 25.2 is the, uh, pass, the Playa Drain Trail Phase 2. Uh, the city is asked to partner with the Paso del Norte Health Foundation where they're going to donate up to $150,000 towards the design for the plans and specifications to build another section of the trail along the Playa Drain. Council authorized the city manager to sign a fourth amendment to the contract, the management contract with First Transit for the operation of Sun Metro. This uh, adds key performance measures to the operation and management of uh, Sun Metro. This, you know, the city is always looking for ways of improving the service and the operation efficiencies of the issue department. What we brought here today was uh, to extend a resolution that was made on March 25th. This gave the city manager broad uh, abilities to handle the migrant situation here in town. So it allowed, it allowed the city manager to expend resources, even financial dollars, to help keep the migrants off the streets of El Paso and make sure they're processed accordingly so they can move on to their sponsor cities.